So guys, thanks again for watching. Um, we hope you love what we're doing. <laughs> so thanks again for watching guys. Um, we hope you just, no, don't do that. It all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, I'm Dave and welcome to episode 10. I'm going to give you a tour to Cerberus, the fire breathing Defender one time. So guys, I'm going to tell you about this engine. This engine was built by John Sleeth Race Engines. John Sleeth is a very good friend of ours. We've been using him for, I want to say 10 years now. He's never let us down with a motor. So we sent him this engine. It was originally a 6.2 litre LS3. Out of the box, totally standard. This engine was originally a 6.2 litre. The engine was pulled apart, modified. This engine has had forged internals with an upgraded camshaft to suit the 6.2 litre engine. It's running a 2.3 litre Whipple supercharger. Those that have seen previous videos of ours, we use this in Defender. Very similar setup, but we've gone for a little bit more poke. This engine is 700 horsepower. Off the top of my head, I think it made 705 horsepower on the engine dyno. That's at the crank. The block is an original Corvette. We've not modified the exterior of the block at all. So this is on our stainless steel mount. Um, we can show you those on our Instagram or Facebook if you follow us or they'll be on our website when our new website's launched at the end of this month. If, if anybody wants an easy kit, we're going to make the mounts that basically go from the LS3 block and we use a big 57mm polyurethane bush to take some vibrations out. And this is a bolt-on chassis mount. This chassis was designed, I believe, for the 50th anniversary of Rover V8 originally. But we've modified the chassis to accept these LS3s. So the chassis comes from Marsland and it is totally bolt-in. So there's no requirement to weld. So you can basically order a galvanized chassis from Marsland, give us a call, and we will supply a bolt kit. So the cooling kit in this car really did take some figuring out. We've got this massive four-inch air intake to supply the supercharger. So we had to try and figure out how can we fit all this cooling in. So we've got an aircon radiator, we've got a charge cooler radiator, we've got an oil cooler for the engine, we've got an oil cooler for the transmission. So basically cramming all this in and also making it efficiently and making it work in all temperatures. So summer in the UK, it's not so hot, but this guy really loves power. So I know he's going to be giving this car some beans. I can see some really nice detailing, some nice aluminium stuff, some Ali sport, sport stuff, and this incredible Whipple supercharger. Just how much work have you had to do on top of the in original engine that was supplied? So the original engine that was supplied from the USA, we've had to basically rework it. So this engine wants to be reliable at 700 horsepower, so that's why we sent it to John. John hand builds these, so they're not built in a mass-produced factory like GM do them. So he's put racing bearings inside them, racing camshaft. Basically, I wanted John's basically thumbs up approval on this engine. So, and that's exactly what we got. The headers on this are really colorful. What's yeah. that all about? So these headers are super special. Um, same again, for the guys that have seen our previous episodes, you'll know that we use an exhaust shop. Um, our good friends at Alinox, I approached Leon. Leon's a good friend of mine. And I asked him to make me the dog's exhaust system. And he was, he threw a few ideas at me, do you want stainless? And I was like, no, we want better. So we went all the way with titanium, the ultimate titanium system. So we went with two inch all the way down to the X pipe. So these are four into one on either bank into, I think it's three and a half inch on this system. So this engine can really, really breathe. So we're ramming the air in with this 2.3 litre supercharger. We need it to escape. Otherwise this engine is bad, pointless basically. To match the horsepower of this car, we needed some serious axles. And I know Will, our customer, 
is going to be giving this car absolute hell. So I approached my friend Pierre, he owns Arsini in Italy. So these axles were handmade in Italy and I asked him, I said, Pierre, I said, I need some axles that are hooligan, maybe hooligan proof if you like, because that is what I've classed Will as. Will's got a proper, he's renowned for being, you know, heavy right foot. <laughs> so I gave him these 35 spline Y61 handmade axles. So they're running upgraded shafts, upgraded drive flanges, like look how beautiful these are. Handcrafted, and that's Ace Off Road, which is also Pierre's company. So I believe they're running 300M shafts. These are ARP bolts. And as the people out there are probably questioning now, they're six stud. So this is why we're running these beautiful method race wheels. And of course, we wrapped them in our favorite tire, the BF Goodrich KM3. So what you see there, guys, is exactly what I've got in my hands. These are 2.65 inch Bilstein pre-runner shocks. So these shocks are derived from desert racing and our good friend, Nico, from 4x4 Proyet, which is here, they designed these shocks. I think they work alongside Bilstein and when we got hands on some, we fell in love with them. So we fitted them to this car, combined with our air ride suspension kit, it just transforms it. This car literally just soaks up bumps, hits and everything. So, and they even come in a beautiful steel box like this. And if you really want to know your friends, fill their cars full of this, which my lads have done many times, the little buggers. <laughs> so my customer owns this, he's a fair character and I know that he is going to get this truck up to its nuts in mud. Um, we recently put a photo on our Instagram and a video and a lot of people made jokes saying what an awesome machine but it's a bit much for the school run this car i tell you now is not going to be doing the school run this is going to be his daily he's going to be abusing it he's going to be probably in the hedge more times than he's on the tarmac and as you can see down here we gave him this beautiful explorer 2 from our friends at red winch this winch will more than pull this truck out so we've given him this beautiful ultra hook just to complement it we just we love billet in this workshop everything that can be made or machined we're all for it. So we've given them these massive recovery eyes, this gorgeous equipped front bumper, and it just works. I hope you like it as much as I do. Hi guys, welcome to episode 10. I'm Sam, and today we're having a massive tidy up. Just clearing some space so before here we had a lot of long-term project project that was on these ramps taking up some room so, so what's going to go in here so we're going to move all the tables and the horses for fabricating welders all, all the fabricating related equipment is going to come to this area now Does your wife know that you do tidy enough? Of course. <laughs> Big man, Steve. You wish it. <laughs> no, okay. This is Dirty 130, we're giving it some big boots today and big wheels. We're going with the Evo course, which is a really nice wheel. We've gone for the bronzy colour and put some, what size is it for the D? Oh, hang on. I forgot what size it <laughs> Don't do that again. And big 37 inch BF Goodrich mud terrains.
look how cool this screen is. Nice freebie for being a good customer to Red Winches. We had to spend about 10 grand to get this for free. It's a bit of a building site here, don't judge. So this is Dirty 130. It's big, it's bold, and the wheels are bronze, and it's mine. Oh, there you go. So we've had super special delivery from Red Winches in the form of this almighty explosive. Try it. <laughs> I'm Dave, I'm your show off our strong arm, I'm putting this winch in. I hope it fits because Red Winch supplied this bumper. <laughs> so basically we wanted the strongest winch on the market because if this big girl gets stuck, we're going to need it, frankly. Um, Neil and his team have made an awesome diary that comes with it, Bible if you want to call it that. So it talks about everything. So if you wanted to make your own bumper, it actually supplies you with every single measurement. Other manufacturers don't give you this. And here is a full step-by-step -step guide of how to plumb it in, how everything functions, and how everything works. We've got a new sign, how cool is this? And that's Dave. The old man's put it together, made a nice job. How cool is this addition to this car, guys? We wanted to give Will a lovely little treat, so we treated him to this cool box. It's, it just fits in with this interior, so we're gonna drop him an iPad here, and we're gonna also drop his ice cold beers in here. Cheers, guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. This is the end of episode 10. Please comment below, drop us anything that you can think of, anything you wanna see, anything you wanna see in like the next episode, you wanna see, what we're doing, details, anything. Don't be afraid. Thanks again for watching, guys.